Well, I was going to start out with, uh, with a poem. Uh, years ago, when I was starting to play uh, fiddle, I was living first in North Carolina, then I was living in Seattle before I moved to Alaska, and there was uh, something called the Festival of American Fiddle Tunes in Port Townsend. I had moved up to Alaska. I came down one year and spent time with a fellow named Bruce Green, and I wrote a poem, and here in uh, Jean and Mary now and there, Ben, was it the Eagles I heard? Uh, uh, we're talking about the Eagles. The Eagles, yeah. possibly the Eagles, not the Eagles, the Bearcats, whatever. Bearcats. So, uh, so I have a poem that I want to share called Kentucky Fiddle Music for Bruce Green. They're out there, fiddlers like Sally or Hawkins, Folks, Phelps, the fiddling descendants of fiddling great uncles, grandpas, grannies, fiddling tunes mournful and disturbing as that late May frost 21 years back that ruined poplar roots. The bowing dies unless it's past, so you learn. But what are those you missed? Boley Tolan, a vortex, Ida Stout from near 88, First Sergeant Phineas Owens of Shoulder Blade, and so on. They're fiddling silenced. And what are the ones those you missed would have pointed? The journey to source is an endless drive into hollows and hills. So that kind of, once again, puts some context into the music. And just so I know too, who all are musicians who are in the house? Maybe play this kind of music too? Are there writers in the house here? Okay. And I don't know if anybody will be by tomorrow morning, but I'm going to be doing some things. I'm going to invite Jerry and Beth to come back up. And uh, Jerry, you want to get your fiddle, actually. Oh, okay. Beth, you want to get your fiddle. That uh, <laughs> What you're all going to get now is you're going to get a fiddle lesson. <laughs> And we're on a college campus, so I actually, what I have is an MFA in creative writing. I used to be a college, I used to be tenure track college professor. So when I do these uh, events of various kinds, I think of myself as an educator of sorts. So Jerry's going to play one uh, called Lies of Jane, and you can start playing that, Jerry. Okay. <laughs> That's her main instrument when she's touring around. But we're on a college campus now. If you watch, Jared, you learn visually, you get a little bit of a fiddle lesson. Listening, just hearing this unadorned fiddle, you get another kind of lesson. Just listen to this music, just by its own. And, uh, if you're poetically inclined, I got a poem called Old Time Fiddle Lesson. And when I go like this, that's the Alaska part of the poem. To learn, lock yourself in your fiddle in a room all winter and practice until you play with a twisty, heartfelt, rhythmic punch that approaches trance. Now, fiddling's not technical repetition anyone can master sound you make once you know in the blood you clog with your fingers while that old devil music dances inside the box. There's Jerry playing, I'm going to play some, and then uh, Beth's going to play, we're going to have some triple fiddles with the fiddle lesson here.
So uh, tomorrow morning, I expect anybody who's coming to my session will be able to pick up a fiddle and play that exact same tune. That's what I expect. I'm joking. Uh, why don't you get the banjo and the guitar, and we'll do that chink pin hunt. Okay. And uh, last Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I was doing a residency uh, down the road in College Station, Texas A&M. And uh, this is an organization called AVPA, Academy of Visual and Performing Arts on campus. And uh, Thursday night, we all did a show. Keith and Evie was there, a fellow named David Greeley, Cajun fiddle player from Bro Bridge, Louisiana. Uh, we had Riley Bogus, who a uh, great multi-instrumentalist and singer, and Ira Bernstein, who's a percussive dancer. And, uh, but I was there for a few days earlier, and I was there, I visited three music classes, including two history of rock and roll classes. And I mentioned that, and they were talking about like how the folk music you know, bleeds into, blends into rock and roll, and uh, somebody that Jerry knows, and somebody that Beth knows, and right there, that's the map of Alaska, and Beth put a little heart in the middle. That's Fairbanks. Anybody been to Fairbanks, Alaska, other than that? Well, uh, I don't know if they're friends of y'all, but definitely friends of Beth and friends of Jerry and friends of mine. There's a couple named uh, Pat Fitzgerald and Robindale Ford who uh, have a recording studio called 10th Planet Records, and they've been in bands for years. When I moved to Fairbanks, my first weekend, I went to a place called the Howling Dog Saloon, and Robin Dale Ford was playing bass, and Pat Fitzgerald was playing rhythm guitar. Pat started out as a drummer. They know music. They've been in bands for 40 plus years. And they are, Pat has said, this string band music is the first rock and roll. So we're going to play one I think of as a rock and fiddle tune. It's called Chinkapin Hunting. And I got a poem, and I did this for the history of rock and roll. You will hear some, uh, what's the word, references to some rock and roll music so if I, I asked them when I did that in the class and they got four out of five so they'll give you a hint there's five references in this poem that's rock or jazz or something so we'll play this tune called Chicken Penhunt you want to get on this side yeah, Jerry? Sure. circa 1978. It's for a friend of mine, Howard Nelson. We studied Kerouac, Ginsburg, Kesey, Hunter S. Thompson, followed Lou Reed, Frank Zappa, Sleepy LaBeef, The Dead, knowing we somehow needed the marathon drive across West Texas, New Mexico, Arizona desert. Two recent East Coast college grads guzzling bad coffee and beer at all hours in forlorn bars gambling time that didn't matter on a geography and spirit that might. Hitting California midway between midnight and dawn, extra bright February full moon, shown like a ghost of a lamp as we parked our Dodge van, slapped hands and jumped out radiating caffeine, that cool and shadowy border. Climbing back in, popping open brews, we shoved John Coltrane the deck, lit another smoke, spun the wheel and rattled back on the road aiming for Los Angeles, the Pacific, beyond. Beyond for me ended up being Alaska. 